Um, so I think you probably need to watch the video from last time about D minor scale. Um, you're getting the notes right, but your fingering you weren't very sure about, particularly with the right hand. So have another look at that video from last time. Um, and then moving on to your new dozen a day this week, you've got this one called Running. So it's the same, moving up on the piano using black keys as well, all right? But these, this time it's quavers. So don't be too quick to start with um, quick notes because so, as soon as you start moving around and you start using the black keys, you're likely to slow down. So take the quavers steady. trying to move your hand so your fingers a little bit more over the black keys so you need it for that chord and then the next one you need two fingers in each hand over black keys so my hands are quite forward far over them and then of course you need the B flat so I'm still keeping my hands forward I can draw my hands back a little bit because I don't need black keys at the ending. And then a familiar ending and just jumping down to the octave. Okay, so you can start here with your C chord, but as soon as you get onto the D chord, you need to have your finger, and you do tend to have it right on the edge. Okay, so you shouldn't feel the edge of the key under your finger you need to feel the flat part of the key. So don't be afraid to take your hand a bit further over. All right, and then you've got that group. So I can see my fingers, you can see them are quite far forward. Okay, and this one's a little bit awkward because this finger doesn't fit so nicely on the B flat, not so easily. But again, if you can see, I'm not right on the edge, I'm quite along, quite onto the key. And then the last one, of course, you don't need the black keys. So think about how you position your fingers over the black keys a bit more. 